Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the first video for The Walking Dead Series 2 McFarlane Toys and this first review is going to be on the second version of Rick Grimes uh, prevalent to how he was in Season 2 and uh, I actually like this figure a little better than his uh, first set than how he was in the first series um, he doesn't come with as many accessories but He's uh, got a really good design. I think it looks eh, a little better than the first one. I thought the first one had a pretty close likeness to him as well. But um, uh, the detail on his shirt and uh, pants, everywhere is really nice. The only weird looking thing on him is on his arms. Um, the way they uh, have his hands and everything because you have interchangeable hands. So they kind of stick out a little bit where the hinges are and everything. But he's a little more articulated in those spots than he was in the first series. He, could, he has a lot more movement. Um, one of the things that I don't like about this figure that I thought he was going to have was going to be a removable hat. That hat is actually fixed onto his head. It's part of the, part of the sculpt. It would have been nice to have been able to take the hat off and put it on from the on the series one version too, but um, it's not that big of a deal. And the accessories he comes with are this sniper rifle, hunting rifle, whatever you want to call it. It actually six is fixated in that hand pretty well. As you can see, the trigger finger for that is um, like a hook. He holds these uh, weapons really nice. But the rifle itself is really detailed. It actually has my camera will focus. You can see the detail in the wood grain and it actually has a strap where you can sling it over his shoulder. It's pretty nice. One of the other accessories he has is, if you remember in the episode where they killed Sophia whenever him and Herschel were wrangling the zombies out of the swamp, the uh, tool that they were using to tie the zombies up around the neck and drag them in. And he holds that with these two hands. Like so. And, oh, see how easy his hands will pop off. These are really small pegs too that his hands go into so if you get them be really careful with how you put them take them on or uh, take them off and put them on because I got a feeling it'd be easy to break over time but uh, the other accessory he comes with is his 357 Colt Python and this one's actually a little better than the one he came with in the first series it's actually got the grooves above the barrel, a lot of nice detail to it, but you have to put on this hand to be able to hold that. And it fits in real nice. So not as many as, uh, accessories as he had in the first series, but the ones he does have are nice. And now I'll go over his articulation. He's got uh, full movement in the head. You can turn it all the way around. Same thing with the arms, at the shoulders, all the way around, up and down, the elbows. 
think, yeah, that'll go all the way around too. And his hands with the way they are, of course he has full range of motion with his hands. He has no waist articulation whatsoever. And he moves at the hips. So not that much articulation from the waist down, but with the arms you can put them in a lot of different poses. So that is the first review for this series, and that's the second version of Rick Grimes from the TV series. Thanks for watching.